hi everyone and welcome to my channel so today i have for you the update to the dining room redo um i started this redo on the 19th and as many of y'all know my mother passed away she passed away on the 21st so um i lost a few days over there you know being with my family and just you know celebrating my mom's life and that but as soon as we got home um i wanted to get started again only because um depression when you have such an event such as a death in your family depression can just grasp a hold of you and it's so easy to slip into depression and it's it's super hard to get out of it and i do not want that for myself not for one minute so i've chosen just to stay busy and uh, keep going instead of you know what would be easy to crawl in the bed and just you know be so sad and all the things that are you know just come uh, with losing someone that you love so dearly so um as soon as we got home from being out of town my mother does not live here in the same town i do um, my youngest daughter was able to, to come in on emergency family leave and uh, so she has helped me to finish this project and it has turned out just really nice and I wanted to give y'all a quick update on the room and show y'all before I start um, decorating for fall. So I'll show you the, the items that I used um the products that i used in here just as a recap from the first video so i'm gonna set y'all down and i'll show y'all what i used so um what i have redone in here i guess i should show y'all before i show y'all the products that i used sorry i hit the camera um first off i redid this table um this table was my grandmother's table um it was a dark brown color and i distressed it and uh, i think it just turned out really really nice i love it um it does have more leaves i ran out of um, chalk paint so i'll have to get more chalk paint and do those at a later date but i did redo those I also redid these shelves. I had them previously painted in like a turquoise, um, almost a Tiffany blue. And I painted these in Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and distressed them with a white wax. So there is a three of those. I hung new curtain rods that I picked up at Dirt Cheap. I already had the curtains in here. The curtains also came from Dirt Cheap. They are threshold. The um, curtain rod is also threshold. Um, and then next, I did the buffet. The buffet is probably my favorite. I just think it turned out so nice. And um, I redid that. And I added these knobs that I picked up at Dirt Cheap. They are just plain simple knobs, but I only had five. So I think I'm going to take these, the side knobs off and put it over here and then get me some glass knobs, some crystal glass knobs to go on either end. So I did that. I've already put together, put back together my, my this china cabinet um i rehung my false sign that's that false sign is actually the luau sign that you get at a uh, dollar tree during the summertime it said luau on it but i removed the luau wording and um printed out fall on my cricket in the font um the skinny and i created that so I did that last night. Um, so I just love, I love all this detail on the buffet and it really bring, brought it out when I did it white and then distressed it with my um, rotary um, 
sander so pretty um the floors came out amazing i did those in kona and then i um i sanded the floors and then we stained them and then i sand them again to just to distress them a little bit so that's what you see there so let me show you the the products that i use i use this um verithane in the color kona for the floor it was eight dollars and 98 cents we used the whole can for this room one coat turned out beautiful i only have one more room in my house and that's my living room and it's a pretty large room so i'm going to need some time to get that done this uh, the chalk paint that i used on the floor is this rust-oleum now this can was not quite enough to do both pieces i did do two coats on the furniture and um this was not quite enough but i had um some leftover waverly white chalk paint about a half of a, a bottle that i poured in here once i got down to about half and i mixed in a little bit of water to help thin it out some and i was able to finish out the project so this is not my favorite but it did fairly good um it it did good because as i said in my first video i waxed it with the waverly white wax and that was 1054 so i got that um, if i didn't say the rust-oleum chalk paint is 1998 and then the the little shelves that i showed y'all were in this waverly ink i know you can hardly see it but it is called ink which is essentially just black so those are the products that i use um i use these little um foams to put on my chairs the bottom of my chairs these little felt furniture I don't know what you call them, but I put them on the bottom of my chair so my chairs would not scratch the floor. And I use this curtain rod. Um, well, it's bigger than this size because I had to put a centerpiece in it to make it large enough. But it is by the company Threshold and it is in the oil rubbed bronze. I love these um, curtain rods. I'm not sure how much I originally paid for, how much I paid for it, but the original price for this one in this size is $28. And excuse my fingers, um, we've been busy, guys, and it's, I had a manicure for my mother's funeral and you can't even tell it anymore. So anyway, um, that's that. I uh, wanted to give you a little update on what's been going on. And, and of course I did that at the beginning about my mother. She did pass away very suddenly. We um, were looking forward to the nursing homes opening back up and getting to go see her, but that did not happen. Um, the Texas nursing homes were to open back up on Monday and my mom actually passed away on Monday and we were not able to, to be with her. We had not seen her since um march um at the end she had tested positive for covid um even there at the hospital she still tested positive although what what happened um her body had went into septus shock her appendix had ruptured at some point and the nursing home did not realize that um, she has a dementia alzheimer's and because of that sometimes they are unable to um, really um, communicate pain and um, so they did not realize that she was in in pain she had been up that day on Sunday walking around talking doing all the things she went back to her room to take a nap and later that and later on that day they have found her unresponsive she never regained consciousness and that Monday we um, decided to take her off of life support and allow her to pass peacefully so that's what happened with my mother super very 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 um unexpected we were expecting to be able to get back to the nursing home 
to see her within, you know, a short little bit of time. As I said, the nursing homes were just supposed to be opening back up here in Texas. So that um, is so disappointing and so upsetting that none of us could be there with her. Um, so we got through that. In the meantime that she had passed, or right as she had passed away, I started this room. We were expecting Hurricane um, or Tropical Storm Beta. Um, it did come ashore. I did not have any effects here in my house. I mean, you couldn't even have been able to tell that a tropical storm had come through. We got very little rain. However, right up an hour from me, um, a lot of flooding in the Houston area. High tides here near me at the beach, but nothing that affected my home. And then I believe yesterday in a town near me, the our water authority got a um, brain eating something or another and everybody's water supply had to be shut off you couldn't take baths you could flush the toilet i'm here though in the in the country per se and i have a water well so that did not affect me but i do have plenty of family that it did affect so we have just been under the under a lot of stress here lately but um we are going to try to push on through through this, I am enjoying some time with my youngest daughter as she is here with me, um, you know, just enjoying time and she is helping me and uh, just to get all the things done and, and just, um, just spending time with her is just awesome. So I wanted to show y'all and just give y'all a little update of what's going on here. I do have, I think, two or three more pre-recorded videos that I, I recorded prior to uh, my mother, you know, just getting um, really sick and us getting that news that, that she wasn't doing well. Um, so I'll be releasing those. Um, I don't expect many videos for a little bit, you know, as I, I just uh, mourn the loss of my mother and um, work through those feelings and just all the things. But um, I just did want to give you all this update before I start uh, my fall decorating or redecorating because I had decorated previously to this video, um, but I took it all down, moved it to the living room on some folding tables. So I want to bring it back in and uh, see if we can't put it together and um and I may jump back on at a and you know in a couple of days and show y'all those updates. But other than that, I hope everyone is um having a good day. Um if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, become part of my friends here on YouTube and y'all have an amazing day. See you in my next video. Bye guys.